Martin Luther King is going through an agonizing reappraisal. He doesn't belong to the uh, decadent uh, aristocratic uh, colonials of the civil rights movement. Who are the decadent aristocratic? Well, I don't want to call names, but the names are obvious. Uh, Martin Luther King uh, has done a yeoman job, and he's got the guts to keep on doing it. And once he knows what black power really means, he doesn't know what it means. What does it mean? It means dignity. It doesn't mean violence. It means integrity. It doesn't mean anti-white. It means pride in being black. It means you're willing to cooperate with your white brother and sister if they're going to cooperate with you in terms of giving you the same things that they have. That's what it means. But you suggest that he might be going through an agonizing reappraisal that will wind him up where? Third phase of black revolution. And does that mean casting aside his principles of nonviolence? Mm -hmm. None of us have cast them aside. I don't think Stokely has either. This means that we have cast aside uh, that we're not going to let nonviolence go all the way. That when nonviolence uh, comes to the point of violence, we're going to meet violence with violence for our manhood. When Stokely... Not, for our, not because we're uh, black power, but for our manhood, that's all.